Hello, I am Margaret Chase Smith. I have served in the United States Congress for many years, and I am here today to testify against the loyalty order made by the President of the United States, Mr. Harry Truman. This order is unjust and un-American. I love this great country, and I love our founding fathers who fought and died for it. May we all give as much as they did. The loyalty order demands that everyone in the government must believe and think the same way. The Declaration of Independence reminds us that we have certain unalienable rights. Among these is the right to liberty. Our founding fathers realized that true freedom means different things to different people. And that is why the right to criticize the government freely was later protected in our Constitution, so as not to limit the definition of liberty to be whatever the people in office believe. Our government is trying to take that freedom away from us. I do not support communism nor socialism, but I do support the rights of the people. And those rights allow citizens to disagree with the government. So when the head of our country makes an order that demands loyalty to him and his views, I ask, where is the liberty in that? Where is the liberty that we strive for? Where is the liberty that our forebearers died for? Not in this order and not with our president. The Soviet Union, to preserve communism and the ideals there within, have strict censorship laws that prevent anyone from disagreeing with the government. This is part of the core of communism, for if the oppressed people were allowed to speak out against the tyranny, the government officials would lose power. Let me say that again. To guarantee compliance, they demand silence. This does not reflect what the loyalty order stands for. Our shining knights who have been fighting communism are becoming the very thing they swore to destroy. The loyalty order gives unnecessary power to government officials. The United States maintains that persons are innocent until proven guilty. We have laws in place to punish treason, and this is not one of those. This order attempts to punish innocent individuals in the event that they might commit treason in the future. I believe that the punishment comes after the crime, not before. In conclusion, the loyalty order is unjust and un-American. The Cold War has caused some heated feelings and called into question American values. American values are the right to thought, the right to criticize, the right to hold unpopular beliefs, and the right to protest. Let us not allow the loyalty order to undermine these and undermine the notion that our government is not perfect. I urge all of you to hold your beliefs, whatever they are, and to petition our president to rescind this act of sedition so that we may forever be in the land of the free. Thank you. On the 21st, this last March, I, Harry S. Truman, signed Executive Order 9835. Yes, I, President Truman, the very same who has ended the war with the Japanese, the very same who has kept this beautiful country's economy rising steadily since that great and terrible world war, I, that has presided over this country in care and determined progression, have signed this loyalty order. This is the next step of presumptuous motility our nation needs. It will rid the everyday lives of those noxious, unpatriotic communists. However, you, Senator, feel otherwise. Unnecessary to prove one's... one's loyalty. One's patriotism. One's devotion. No. No, you, that cannot be. At, at least to you. While we are in such a time as this, in which these despicable sympathizers mark down our every move, you, Senator Margaret, have claimed that my good friend here, Joseph McCarthy, is a paranoid fool. You and your following senators have again and again shown that you have small care of this nation by claiming that people like Senator McCarthy here are lunatics. 
those who truly care for their United States. In your speech, you restrained that as Americans, we deserve rights to criticize, the right to uphold unpopular beliefs, the right to protest, and the freedom of independent thought. These are all prominent American beliefs. The fact that you felt the, ne the need to recreate and re-pitch them is, is painful to me. It scares me, even. For what type of patriot would feel it to be necessary the unloyal, orderly loyalty, the everlasting goal to have to this truly united states? I now speak directly to my patriotic citizens. There are people like these, like Senator Margaret, who are not with us. We need ever-enduring, unending patriotism. We need the country's ranks to rise and eradicate this tremendous thorn in our side. All of you not deemed loyal, those who will not fight by my side, those who hate the beauty of freedom and scoff in the face of liberty, those who threaten the land's beloved ideals, who are you? Do you like destroying families? Do you? You ask my friend, McCarthy, why would you show such intensity? Why, why do you care so much? And why, you ask, do you look under your bed, behind your back and within the closet? Why do you ask, we show no mercy? I say to you, and ask feverishly, does the Soviet Union let people go? Do the communists have an understanding? They're un-American and anti-ideals of our nation. Search for them. Have you forgotten that the Russians seek to kill our ever-rising civilization running rampant into our own country? This is what must be done. And those who say otherwise, in my eyes, are traitors. Do you not remember your loved ones, your successes, your learnings, your growth, your country? Remember why you fight. And fight with me.